Hello, I'm Wilma Hodges, the Sakai Community Coordinator. Sakai is, as most of you know, a 100% open source learning management system. And in a world where online learning has taken center stage as a result of the pandemic, learning management systems are no longer just virtual classrooms. They're lifelines, connecting educators and learners across the globe. In this brief presentation, I'll provide an overview of what's new and noteworthy in Sakai and show you why we think Sakai is the best LMS for learning. Sakai is made for educators by educators. You may have heard that particular tagline before, but if you know Sakai, you know it certainly isn't lip service. Every option in Sakai's rich toolset has grown out of a feature request or pedagogical need expressed by the faculty, staff, and students using the system. But hey, you don't have to take my word for it. Let's hear from a few of our community members. Well, something that I love about Sakai is that it's open source. Um, but diving in further, it's actually community source, which means that uh, a collection of, in this case, colleges, universities, and academic institutions get together, um, and they shape the future of the learning platform. One of the things about Sakai that's really interesting to me is the fact that it is a distributed network of developers, of communities, all of whom are involved. It's been great to see the way that our institution, Pepperdine University, has contributed ideas to the growth of Sakai, that we're able to suggest features and then programmers get right on it, uh, but here and elsewhere, and it becomes a part of the feature set, which is something that you often don't see with big commercial packages. So here is what I really am amazed with with Sakai. About, oh, not quite two and a half years ago now, a little over two years ago now, I had a really long talk with Wilma Hodges about how the rubric tool worked and how I expected it to work. And it wasn't working the way I expected it to work. Fast forward to an upgrade that happened on our campus over Christmas break. Suddenly, the rubric tool did everything I wanted it to do in the way I wanted it to work. I was shocked, I was amazed, and I was thrilled because I'd never had an LMS listen to little old me before. And that ability to affect the tool that affects my life is invaluable. Sakai ensures student privacy. This quote from Dr. Chuck Severance, Sakai's founding architect, sums up Sakai's commitment to data security Sakai is the only LMS that allows you to safeguard your students' data over the long term. Because Sakai is open source, you can deploy Sakai with a cloud provider and confidently maintain 100% control, possession, and ownership of your data. In a recent webinar for the LAMP Consortium, Dr. Chuck discusses the concept of privacy in more detail. Here's an excerpt from that presentation. So if we go back to 2000, before Sakai started. In those old days, everybody just ran servers on their campus. LAMP started on WebCT on a server, and you probably physically knew where that server was. And then Sakai and Moodle came out in 2004, and we just kind of imitated. We gave people software to run on some server somewhere. The problem was, is that like in the 2006-2008 timeframe, people stopped wanting to run their own servers. And they had these giant server farms or the stuff had to be replaced every couple of years. And it just turned out that it, with LTI, it was easier to not run software, but just say, I want a cloud vendor. And Canvas kind of became the main cloud vendor alongside, of course, is our cloud vendor. And I'll talk about that. The cloud, the cloud isn't inherently the problem, but how your data is treated in the cloud is the problem. So we're sitting here in 2020 and all the major LMSs, Canvas, Blackboard, Desire to Learn, have actually lost the ability for you to locally host the software, which they did have in 2009. Actually, it's been about two years since Blackboard told you you could not run Blackboard yourself anymore. And same with Desire to Learn. And they did that because they thought that Canvas, they had to do that to compete with Canvas. The problem is, is in that time frame, the convenience is high but the privacy is in effect nil. It really is nil. And so I'm 
dedicating myself for the next decade to make it so we have good interoperability, lots of cool flexibility, but at the same time really good privacy. And it's not an easy problem to solve. But my first problem to solve is getting people to think about privacy. Okay, so here is a video. Uh, it is my, uh, you may or may not have seen this, anyone on the marketing has heard about it and seen about it. This is a video that I made of the Apple commercial that Canvas made a parody of the Apple commercial and I made a parody of Canvas's parody of the Apple commercial. Today, we celebrate the 12th glorious anniversary of moving learners into the cloud. We have created for the first time in all history a unified data solution where the cloud can provide each learner exactly what they need. Learners will never lose their data because they will never have their data. We are one people with one will, one cloud. Our customers will debate teaching styles and ask about learner privacy. But we will persuade them with analytics and dashboards by storing all student data in one place. We have created a superior learning environment. When you adopt a 100% open source LMS, you protect your students' data privacy and build a better future. Change is good. Sakai. So, speaking of competition in the LMS market, Sakai is market leading. Over the last several years, independent national survey research has consistently awarded Sakai top honors for customer experience, innovation, usability, and feature quality. Sakai offers a greater breadth of features than competitors, and Sakai ranks best among competitors in the areas of online learning and student collaboration. Let's hear a bit more about Sakai's standing in the marketplace from Josh Wilson, as he shares his thoughts on market data in a brief clip from a recent webinar. What we see in this data set, the, the highest of high level messages, is that Sakai experts feel more positively about Sakai than Canvas experts feel about Canvas, or Brightspace experts feel about Brightspace, or Moodle experts feel about Moodle. So that's kind of interesting. And that pattern only increases in strength as more and more reviews come into the data set. So here you see two of uh, the, the, uh, the, the product leadership data quadrant visualizations that are produced by software reviews. This is the, the review-based service that is run by Infotech in Toronto, Canada. So as you can see, you can look at uh, the LMSs in the upper right-hand corner of this quadrant. Those are the leaders. So they are highest both in terms of product features and satisfaction on the y-axis and vendor experience and capabilities on the x-axis. And what we've seen is that Sakai continues to move up and to the right. Matter of fact, at this point, you, you can see the little hat in the 2020 version of the quadrant on, on the Sakai icon. That hat indicates an outlier. It shows that we were off the charts. So let's take a look at a couple of areas of feature leadership. And I want to note, uh, this is a few of the visualizations that we've gotten from this market data firm. Uh, there is, uh, there's a URL on this slide that will take you to a page in Sakai Community's Confluence page. Uh, in some Confluence site rather, and that's where I put all of this market data. So we've licensed it to be able to share with um, the Sakai community and publish it publicly. So you're welcome to go to that page and you, you can see more visualizations. There are a bunch of awards that we've won. Uh, there are links to more in-depth reports. Uh, I'm glad to do a deeper dive into this at some point if folks are interested. But let me share a couple of data points that I think are really interesting and important here. So starting at the top left, let's talk about breadth of features. So we see here that Sakai uh, is significantly more capable in this area than Brightspace and then Canvas. Uh, so this is on a hundred point scale. These aren't truly percentages. It's a hundred point scale, you know, but, but for breadth of features, Sakai scores an 86. Brightspace and Canvas are, are at 78 and 77 comparatively. So, uh, so Sakai experts, when asked about breadth of features, Sakai experts feel much more positively about breadth of features than do Brightspace and Canvas experts. So turning to online learning at the top right, 
similar kind of ideas. So Sakai scores an 88, Brightspace an 83, Canvas an 81. Looking at the gradebook, uh, here Sakai scores an 88, and uh, Brightspace scores an 83, and Canvas an 81. And the last one we'll look at is uh, various aspects related to student collaboration. So here Sakai scores uh, an 81, uh, Brightspace a 77, Canvas a 73. Um, so, you know, but I, I think it's also important to take away here that as we look at these head-to-head -head comparisons, and as we think about Sakai, uh, you know, at a higher level in terms of breadth of features, in terms of its support for fully online learning, in terms of its support for students working with and learning with students, Sakai outstrips competitors according to this analysis. And it's, it, it's important not to lose sight of that fact and to fold that into the other things that we see. Sakai is globally adopted. There are more than 300 institutions and organizations worldwide using Sakai. Our academic partners span the United States, Canada, Europe, Asia, and Africa. We also have a growing number of businesses and nonprofits who have adopted the Sakai LMS. Sakai is community driven. In any given week, you'll find a variety of community groups hard at work collaborating, contributing, and constantly moving Sakai forward. Our weekly JIRA triage group reviews all of the issues submitted, assigns priority, and requests more information where needed. The core team meets each Tuesday to provide progress updates, discuss release timelines, and review the code. The Quality Assurance, or QA, team meets twice weekly, once for planning and again for hands-on testing alongside other community QA testers. The Aperio Teaching and Learning Group meets on the first and third Wednesdays of the month to discuss the pedagogical aspects of teaching with Sakai, and the User Experience Group meets right after TNL to explore usability and design topics. Our marketing group meets every other week to work on marketing and promoting Sakai through our website, social media, and other channels. The accessibility group also meets every other week. Their work focuses on ensuring that Sakai is accessible for users with disabilities. And the documentation group meets once a month to review and plan updates to Sakai Help and the community wiki. Also, our new Sakai Developer Office Hours now meets on the second and fourth Wednesdays of the month. The goal of Office Hours is to help onboard new Sakai developers. These and other subteams are responsible for all aspects of the Sakai development and release cycle. Anyone can join the conversation and participate. Transparency and openness are in our DNA. If you'd like to get involved, I encourage you to attend any of our working group meetings. You can also participate by joining one of our many community email groups or join us on Slack. Sakai is energetically evolving. Each new version of Sakai brings enhancements and innovative features designed to address the teaching and learning challenges of today and tomorrow. Sakai 21, our latest release, features dark mode, the new dashboard tool, several improvements in lessons, gradebook improvements, and additional rubrics options, as well as enhancements in LTI Advantage including a new LTI assignment type. And if you take a peek at the Sakai roadmap, you'll see that there are many more improvements planned for upcoming versions. Sakai is open for all. Openness isn't just our software philosophy, it's an integral part of our community. So whether it's attending our on-site events like Sakai Camp, where you'll interact directly with the core developers and project team for in-depth planning meetings as well as socializing after hours. Or participating in one of our virtual events, 
like our annual Sakai Virtual Conference or one of our community webinars. Everyone is welcome to collaborate with us and contribute ideas, resources, and code. And for institutions, Sakai gives you the flexibility to customize the look and feel, as well as the features and functionality to meet your specific needs. I have been a, a member of the Sakai community for nearly 10 years, and uh, I, I found it to be very warm and collaborative, and, and people are really giving in, in the open source community that, that is Sakai. Um, I enjoy attending the annual conference. I like to contribute um, my time and, and resources to, to improve the tool so that others can benefit from it. And I'm very, very grateful to other institutions who, who made contributions that, that, that my school benefits from. Sakai empowers educators. I think honestly, it has been the vehicle for me to be able to deliver and facilitate learning. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do the work that I'm doing if I didn't have this learning management system in order to create that online community, um, to create that teaching presence for my students virtually. Honestly, Sakai has, has cr created that platform for me to be able to reach those students um, that otherwise wouldn't be, wouldn't be taking classes right now. One of my favorite things about Sakai is the ability to bring in these external applications. And so to, to colleagues, I would say, you know, the, the limits of Sakai are only the limits of your imagination. But like I said, I, I've been using Sakai for a while and I've, I've just found it to be very intuitive, very easy to use. Uh, it's, it's, and it's, it's, very, it's a very powerful LMS. So everything I've wanted to do with my classes, Sakai has allowed me to do that. The, the challenge um, in a seated setting is time and being able to cover all this information and cover different um, cultures because unfortunately most textbooks focus, uh, have a very American centric view. So the student content pages allows the time that we really need to research and review each other's work and get that information and not only collect it, but integrate it into their understanding, um, which is something I just don't have time to present in the classroom. We started to get these inquiries from what we began to call these non-academic educators. In other words, organizations that were not a traditional college or university, but they needed a way to train people too. They needed a way to teach classes online. They needed an LMS, but they certainly didn't have the technical resources to manage one on their own, nor did they want to. Um, and the LAMP Consortium was a good fit for them. Uh, we had good software, Sakai, um, without the technical challenges and frankly, without the huge expense. And so we started getting interest from these non-academic educators. And I put my personality in it. Um, and then, you know, don't be afraid to think out of the box. Sakai is really flexible for a lot of things. Um, so really you can do whatever you want. Um, I, I really like that. But I found that using Sakai, I can curate digital sources, which is so perfect for this millennium, right? Within Sakai, I can leverage technology to all be in one hub, so at one click, my students can open the gateway to learning through the lessons tool. I just have to say that I am a big Sakai fan. I've been an early adopter of Sakai. I really believe that learning management systems can improve our workflow and the classroom experience for students. I would just highly recommend to faculty who don't use Sakai to give it a try. Join us on the web, Twitter, and Facebook.